SCP-577 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-577 is to be contained within a 10 meter by 10 meter room with all surfaces covered in 0.5 meter thick steel plating backed with 1 meter of ballistic gelatin. Any contact with SCP-577 is to be facilitated by level 2 personnel equipped with kinetic inhibitors and protective suits reinforced with SCP-143. If monthly casualties rise above a designated limit, Class D personnel are substituted for normal operating staff. A designated animal specialist is to be housed at Site-19 for containment purposes. By no means should any ammunition constructed of standard Euclidean alloys be introduced to SCP-577 or its containment. Description SCP-577 appears to be a mass of ammunition of various caliber and composition, which moves under an unknown autonomous force possessing moderate sentience. This force is not magnetic or gravitational in origin, and seems to be unaffected by most natural forces. Each of the constituent units possesses a practically infinite amount of potential energy, which is not expanded by the movement of the mass as a whole. SCP-577 is prone to crude imitation of other sentient creatures, most commonly a medium-sized feline. When alone, SCP-577 prefers to remain in an amorphous mass until it believes it's being watched. At this point, SCP-577 will assume the form of a previously observed creature. Rarely, it will instead assume the form of the observed subject, although it has never taken human form. When assuming a form, it will mimic the movement, the mannerisms, and the sounds fitting the species, but only as far as SCP-577 has observed. Normally, SCP-577 is rather friendly towards others, but the risk involved with even the most casual contact is too great. Using the massive potential energy possessed in each constituent unit, SCP-577 is capable of accelerating its mass in unison. The velocity of each unit of ammunition accelerates differently, despite possessing the same amount of potential energy. Velocities range from 330 meters per second to 1,800 meters per second, which results in SCP-577's form becoming elongated into a stream of ammunition when in full motion. As this is universally hazardous, Great care must be paid to keeping SCP-577 contained. The rationale behind SCP-577 initiating acceleration is unknown and somewhat random, although acts of aggression towards it almost always trigger the reaction. While composed of a number of types and makes of ammunition, the core of SCP-577's mass is composed of several hundred 30 caliber rounds composed of an unknown metal alloy. While the overall mass of SCP-577 fluctuates, as individual bullets are lost or destroyed, the core has remained unchanged. Scans of SCP-577 while in containment show that the unknown alloy continuously emitted radiation similar to alpha brainwaves. Based on observed behavior, it has been theorized that this is the method that SCP-577 uses to organize its mass as well as the source of its limited sentience. SCP-577 was originally discovered in... where a series of brutal gang wars had apparently resulted in several deaths where subjects had been literally shot to pieces. Foundation agents had become involved after several impossible witness reports had occurred, along with contacts in the area confirming that neither side in the conflict possessed sufficient firepower. After the first three attempts resulted in heavy casualties, deployment of a rapid-forming ballistic gelatin by air eventually allowed for temporary containment and relocation to Site-19. Addendum 577-A Despite no need to eat, it has apparently become wise not to introduce any form of tuna to SCP-577's containment.
Addendum 577b. After a containment failure, SCP-577 gained access to Site-19's armory. It was at this point that SCP-577 incorporated several thousand extra rounds of ammunition, a number of explosives, and data expunged. Incident reports cite the appearance of a giant cat-like creature that prowled the halls, occasionally accelerating and resulting in <coughs> deaths and massive damage to sectors 3 through 5. Eventually, SCP-577 wandered back to containment on its own.